Welcome to this introduction video relating to infantry management in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. Let's start by looking at the infantry management module. The functions for infantry management consist of inbound and outbound orders, journal entries, such as movements, infantry adjustments, transfer journals, bills of materials, also known as bombs, and infantry ownership change. Other functions such as item arrivals and production inputs, as well as item counting journals for stock take exist. The other functionality includes inquiries and reports, as well as setup. Relating to the setup of infantry management, stocked as well as service type products are associated to the following. Item groups not only group your products and services together, they are also utilized to control the transactional posting from a general ledger perspective. You can have as many item groups as you want, and the postings are split either by sales orders, purchase orders, infantry type transactions, production type, type transactions, other setup and warehouse options available as well. Item model groups are utilized to determine the costing models, options such as FIFO, LIFO, Weighted average, standard cost, and moving average exist as standard. These two groups must be associated to all products and services released to the legal entity. Another key setup of infantry management, and specific to all infantry type transactions, is that of sites, warehouses, and locations. This is found under Infantry Breakdown. Whether your business manages infantry in a factory or warehouse type facility, or if your company's business units simply have different geographic locations, the sites and warehouse setup functionality can cater for all where infantry is concerned. Warehouses have further defaults of particular locations Location names, addresses can be added to particular warehouses, and naturally a hierarchy can be set up. So you have, can have multiple sites and multiple warehouses, and within each warehouse, multiple locations. Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations also has quality control and quality management. These setups can be associated to specific transactions, therefore restricting specific systematic processes from being completed until the quality checks are completed and, and authorized. As you can see, the quality control can consist of testing instruments, specific tests, testing variables, groups, quality association and quality groups, item samplings, and within the quality management, certain operations that need to take place, problem types that can be experienced, quality charges, and quarantine zones that can be set up. Now, let's move over to the product information management module. Here is where products and services are created and released to the various legal entities. As an example, since I am logged into the USMF company, if I look at all release products, for instance, this product number here, details under the general area consist of the type of item, the subtype, item numbers and product numbers, the defaults for storage dimension groups and tracking dimension groups, the item model group, 
and then further details relating to purchases, sales, infantry type transactions, as well as managing your costs. Here we can see the item group. Directly from a particular product, we could also look into specific transactions or on, on hands for this particular product, as well as view purchase prices, trade agreements, setup of approved vendors, purchase order related information, invoice matchings, etc. etc. The same applies for sales. For this example, Let's have a look at the related transactions for this particular product. Here we can see work that's been done. The reference provides us details as to whether it was a purchase order, a sale, a work order, counting journals, infantry adjustment journals, as well as the quantity, the units, and the infantry dimensions from a site, warehouse, and location perspective. At any type for a particular transaction, we can go to the transactional details. Let's now look at another example. For the same product, let's look at the on hands. For this particular product, for that particular site, we have no on hands. However, in site 2 in warehouse 24, there's a physical inventory of 200. Same for site 2, warehouse 25, 200, etc. etc. This concludes the introduction to inventory management for Dynamics 365 for finance operations. Thank you for watching.